Hi, welcome along everyone. Today's review, we're going to be taking a look at this product from First E and it's a DAB car radio adapter. So let's have a close look at it, shall we? Here then we have the item. Um, now what I've done is taken it out of the box and actually fitted it to the car already. Now I've just wired it kind of loosely, the wires aren't folded away or anything um, because I'm not actually keeping this car um, so I didn't want to hard wire it in all nicely I'm just doing it so I, I could show you the wires and where they're running for the benefit of using one, one of these devices so why would you want one? well the thing with these is you finally get a dab radio in your car now I know a lot of people have just got stock car radio Fitted and it usually just has FM and usually a, a CD player and that's about it. But the thing is, if you want to change it for another unit, um, it ruins the look of the car because a lot of them are built in and they, they kind of look nice with the car without changing the unit for something else. Now the car got down below an old Renault, has got another model in it and luckily for me it's got um, a line in which is very handy for use with this particular device because it sounds a lot better. Now obviously it takes a TF card in if you want to play your own files. It's Bluetooth so you can stream your phone music straight to it as well. Um, obviously it's hands free for answering the phone and obviously the most important thing of all is the DAB radio function on the device. Now taking a look at the book here, you see the hardest part of this fitting of this is actually to do the antenna which sticks inside the car um, and it sits up near the roof, the top of the glass on the screen and you have to attach a metal part um, to the metal of the car if you can. Now if you don't it does say that you'll lose 30% reception quality so this is uh, quite an important part of the kit and that's the aerial. So as you can see there reading that part there, the magnetic conductive part um, must be attached to the metal of the car otherwise it says there antenna performance will decrease 30% as I say so quite an important bit here is the side of the box showing you all the ins and outs of the gadget okay so you know but I will show you in a minute in the car with it there well, here we are in the car, and there's where I've got it mounted up. It is very rough, as I say. I haven't really tied any wires up or anything, just to show you. Obviously, you've got to have all these cables tied up when you connect this thing in. Um, it runs down here, past my stereo unit, which is an aftermarket one anyway. But luckily for me, um, I've got a line in, which does improve the performance no end. Um, and it goes down here into your power socket, into your 12 volt cigar lighter. There is a spare USB port there which is handy as well and that comes with it. Now this is the part I was telling you about, the antenna. I've stuck mine up here, you can see it there. Um, and this is the part that has got to go up and under and stick up under the shield with the magnet. It's a very difficult part. I will pull it out and see if I can show it to you. This is the part I'm talking about, and as you can see, it comes down from the adapter. And if, if I was to show it to you, you'd see that it was actually sticking up through there, under there. And it's, it's fairly easy, pull that away, it does pull away fairly easy, and you'll feel the magnet pull it to the roof uh, and make contact, or at least I did with mine anyway. So it's not too bad. So I'll just put that back now. There we are. That's it, pushed back in position. So it just remains to try it out now. So first of all, I'll try it with a TF card in there. Um, now I can't play you any commercial music because it's YouTube and uh, it will be usually masked over if it's a track that they will not allow to be played. So I will play the, the music that is allowed to be played on YouTube, which is their own sign of tunes uh, and give you just maybe the voice out of the actual radio. But that's uh, another thing altogether, isn't it? <laughs> Can't go into that grey area of copyrighted music. <laughs> okay, I've got it here. It's off the holder at the moment. It's just laying down here on my leg. <laughs> uh, you can see it better, I'm hopefully, because the light's a bit bad up on the dashboard. It's just got a magnet on the back of this uh, that sticks to the holder, which really does grip it nice and tight too. I've got it on Radio 2 at the moment, uh, but I'll show you the list of dab stations. There we are, presetted the stations there. You can see the list that I've got in. You can have quite a lot, it's a hell of a lot of ones you can actually put in there. Uh, they're just my particular favourites. If you can lead this into your unit, by that I mean a 3.5 jack auxiliary lead, like I've got it going into the auxiliary of my unit, you will get much better quality. Um, but 
obviously if you haven't got that this unit is still designed to be able to go into your stereo just by using a free FM frequency on your radio uh, and obviously you tune this device into that same frequency it will find it uh, and you will still not then have to bother with that lead uh, and it does tidy up anyway but obviously it'd be not quite as good but obviously you're using FM radio then um, but the thing is you are getting all the DAB stations that you wouldn't normally get with FM. So let's have a little listen to it. We'll try the SD card first. As I say, because it's royalty free music, I'm allowed to play this one. Sounds quite good. That's very good. It will also take um, a 64 gigabyte SD card, so that's quite a lot of music on there. The other good thing is to say, uh, you don't need to have one of those cards if you've got your phone and all your music is on your phone. Um, you can Bluetooth it straight on, as you can see, mine's not connected at the moment, I haven't bothered to connect it up. Um, but you can use your phone, use all your music on there and just come straight through the device. Once again, a really useful feature and you can still use your hands free for any phone calls. Um, to that end, as you can see there, there's your phone answer button there. Online. And there's Radio um, 2 and Jeremy no, Vines on at the moment. And uh, in England, following the you can hear it's quite good. I can qualify that music does sound really good, as I say. Uh, I can't put any music out because it's YouTube and we've got royalty issues. So I can do the study by vocals. Yeah, I can tell you it's very, very good. From £100 ago to just £2 yeah, to magic. help curb problem gambling. And Royal Mail One of my favourites too. New data protection rules. Okay, I think it's enough of that. We'll put it back in position. As I say, it's all rough at the moment. I haven't got it wired in properly at all because it's not staying in this car. But I can confirm that it's a very good unit. And I think as long as you get that magnetic item stuck to the metal on your car, um, you can get very good reception. Now, if you've got good signal anyway, you won't even need to do that. If you live in a city, a big town, you won't even need that magnetic bit on there. You will probably find plenty of signal. But if you live in a little bit ruralish like me, I've got good signal here, um, but if I head for the moor, um, then it will cut out there because um, once I get over there uh, in Devon uh, there's not much signal and obviously it does die out then so it has its limits but then so does any dab radio at the end of the day okay then so just for top specifications um, to give you the one there is 20 preset memories in there for your digital stations here's the rest of the information for those that like to have all the techs what we're looking at here is an aftermarket device for cars a little bit older with just the stock FM CD player radio in there, but you don't want to ruin the look of the board of your fascia board and the way it sits in the car. You don't want to have to take that out and change it. This is a good idea. The minus points would be all the wires, you know, have got to be tidied away and look right. And obviously, getting that little magnetic part stuck to the roof may or may not be a problem for you. Um, it's not invaluable, it still will lose signal like any dab radio. You still need to be in a fairly strong area for the dab to work. So, but that goes with most radios anyway, okay? So, in my mind, I think it's quite a great idea to give you those extra stations uh, that you wouldn't normally get. I know if you've got to use the FM receiver part for your radio, you've kind of come down a notch in quality, but uh, it still gives you those DAB stations that you won't get on FM. So, that's what we're talking about here. So, for that, I'll give it a plus, I'll give it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Great device. As I say, this is from uh, First E, a funny name. Well, that is a first one, a funny E there. Okay, um, I'll give you the link uh, if you want one of these anyway on the bottom of the description for the video. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Catch you again. Derrick and 33 for all my stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.